Uh, hello beautiful souls and welcome back. Let me tidy up this camera. Uh, hello lovelies, my name is Elisa Mozal and in this video I'll be talking a little bit more about relationships and yes, and um, there is a question that I have received on one of my videos when a person is asking for help and asking for a little bit of guidance. And this is absolutely the best thing that someone can do if they feel like, oh, the situation I am in doesn't feel too good. So um, the best thing I've ever done in my whole life on my journey is to ask for help when I knew it that where I am and whatever I'm doing is just doesn't go anywhere. So let me read that comment. I am in a relationship where my spouse and I are on a very different spiritual awakening paths. I long for depth, understanding, compassion, conversation. Our, our relations is so surface level, yet we stay together. But there is so much more. What can I do? Lindsay, thank you so much for putting that comment there. Thank you so much for not sitting with that stuff on your own when you don't feel like it's going anywhere and reaching out and asking out loud because that gives other permission and understanding. Oh my goodness, my relationship is not the best as well. And that's all okay and fine. And it's all okay to seek for help. It's all okay to try to uh, understand the situation um, with maybe a little bit different, newer light. Uh, so... The first thing, Lindsay, that I'm going to ask you is to ask yourself honestly, because for your situation, for your relationship, there is no one answer. Every single one of us is on a different path, especially this year with such a different energy. The same relationship and the same combination with two people right now getting together versus 20 years ago, they might be still in a relationship for the 20 years, whether this year, three, five, 10 months, and it's like, uh, bye bye, because the energies are changing so much. They are beautiful, gorgeous, amazing healing energies that they bring up to the surface what has been lying on the scene for a very, very long time. So that uncomfortable feeling arises within ourselves because all of a sudden we are seeing and feeling things that they don't feel too good. You know, it's been buried on there for a very long time. So of course, it's not gonna feel good. And we have been conditioned in this lifetime through all the advertisement, everything we've seen around everywhere into running away from what we think and feel deep inside into the outside sources of pleasure or running away from pain. Whether it is drugs, sex, alcohol, buying houses, good jobs, it's always constant run away from that internal condition that it has been labeled very often as not good enough because we don't even spend enough of time to look within and find that we are wholeness already. Uh, Lindsay, I'm going to ask you just a few questions. If you would like, ask them for yourself, by yourself, in the comfort of your own home. But there is no point of doing that if you feel in any way defensive through the whole situation. Let me just move that message there. Um, there is no point of you doing it at the moment if you feel defensive or unsettled. So I would like to just ask yourself, can I be here and now relaxed and honest with myself to bring an off of clarity to the situation so I can see that with a new light. And the best thing ever, if you would just grab a journal, sit down for 10, 15 minutes, entirely relax, breathe out the whole day and breathe in the freshness of this present moment and ask yourself, you know, am I judging here the situation? You know, how, how am I differentiating it? Where am I bringing the past into this current situation with my partner? Um, and as well, you know, one of the most important questions that I've asked myself and changed entirely my whole life is what are the needs and desires 
that I have within myself and I am the one who's supposed to look at them and fulfill them. But instead of it, I am expecting others to do that for me. And you know, you don't know what you don't know, right? So I've been conditioned into seeking that solution in the outside sources, right? So I've been conditioned through the movies, you know, spoon fed, you know, movies that once you meet the Prince Charming and Princess Charming, they're gonna, you know, you know, entirely rescue you from your life. That at the end of the day, you created it for yourself. It's it's just an uh, ego based lie that I that I believed into for for far too long, and it became time to uh, wake up. And I started learning that I have so many deeply rooted needs and desires, issues, and beautiful abilities as well that I need to see them for myself. I constantly needed so much attention, appreciation and validation from outside sources because I wasn't doing that for myself. So I needed someone to tell me you've done well because I had no idea how to sit down with myself and look at it. Wow, I've done so great today. I've done so great today, right? I was constantly running. I was unable to sit down with myself and look at what I've done. Another thing, I needed this validation and love from the outside sources because I didn't know how to do that for myself by myself. I had no idea about self-love and letting go of trauma, letting go of unworthiness and learning how to esteem myself, which is called self-esteem. I'm going actually attach golden self-esteem, which I have created based on all that inner work that I've done. And it was divine, I was divinely inspired to create that beautiful experience slash course. So I'm going to leave the link over here if overcoming love self-esteem is something you would like to do for yourself right now. Um, so I would like to ask you to, you know, what are the needs and desires within me that I expect him, her to fulfill for me? Is there anything from this list that by any chance it is actually my own job to do it for myself as a sovereign being who is stepping into my own power and is no longer giving the power away to another person, situation or a relationship, like a label. Okay, so I've put all of my expectations, right? That's another thing. What helped me a lot on my journey is to learn about the expectations from other people. So the more expectations I put into the picture that I attach mentally into someone else's name or profile picture, the less space I leave it for them to be who they are need to be at this present time of their journey. Maybe this part of the journey is the moment when they're processing so much anger coming out of them. So if I'm going to choose and decide, no, your anger is unacceptable to me. Uh, I will not be able to give them enough of space so they can work their way through. That doesn't mean I have to take anyone else's anger on me or be affected by it in any way. That's another subject of uh, healthy functional boundaries, which are not to tell someone what to do. It's to tell yourself what am I taking on or what am I not taking on? What am I taking in? What am I not taking in? That's what uh, functional healthy boundaries are about. It's not about telling anyone which way to be. It's about you there for yourself. Um, and the more honest and open you will be with yourself with answering these questions, the more clarity you would be able to bring into the situation. And the more clarity and space you will have, the more grace, love and light you would be able to bring into the situation, right? Uh, another thing that I'm going to ask you as well, our relationship is so surface level, yet we stay together. And, and many people stay together because of the fear, because of the fear, what if I'm going to lose this? Have I done enough? You know, have I done enough in this relationship so far? Uh, how am I going to manage with the rent? Right? That's another one. Money. Uh, another one. Okay, so if I'm single, uh-oh, 
I'm 20 kilograms more than the last time I've been single. Nah, -uh, it's not happening. There's so many different reasons that people are staying in relationships. I'm not saying any of these reasons is your reason, not at all. I'm just giving simple examples because um, because I'm able to tap into many, many different consciousnesses and into thought forms that they are right now active in so many, many, many people. Uh, so <laughs> uh, I'm always bursting with joy because I feel so much freedom, because I feel so much freedom. So anytime you see in my videos, these birds of laugh and that's just living in the joy. Uh, not 24 seven, but a lot. And I love it. Um, and I'm grateful for that as well. So the more you're honest with yourself, the more clarity you would be able to bring, the more clarity it is there, the more space you will bring to the situation. And you would be able to see it for what it is. Don't let anyone ever, ever, ever tell you which way to be. But in the same way, when you give yourself permission to be who you feel you need to be at this present moment, the more permission you and space, permission slash space, you give to others to be who they are needing to be, right? There is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful book. It's a very small one, but it's so fabulous. And it's called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz or Don Ruiz Miguel. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. I'm so sorry. This man is gentleman. It's just absolutely amazing. So his book called The Four, number four, four agreements um, has one of the agreements about do not make assumptions. Uh, express yourself as clearly as you can to avoid any misunderstanding, sadness and drama. So communication is another biggie that um, it is something important in any type of relationship. If you are unable to be honest with yourself, how can you bring honesty into relationship? And just expecting honesty without bringing in into the relationship or situation in abundance is 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 not gonna is not gonna work at least not in my experience so this is what i have for you there is there is channeled through the open heart through my divine team and uh, thank you for being amazing and awesome guys and if any of you have a, any more questions or doubts or would like to ask, please ask the question in the comments below and I will get to you uh, at some point, uh, whether it's a private message in a shape of a video or maybe it would be a message that I will receive that it is only for the face-to-face -face thing, not for the public. So, because this is what I uh, receive sometimes as well. I receive that kind of message that it is just for this person. Uh, okay, I'm going to wish you all beautiful souls of love and light. All the best. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's be honest. Let's bring the grace. Let's bring the love. Let's bring the light into this present moment. And... Uh, we're so afraid to move forward. Because the current situation is so... And I'm, this is not saying move out of the relationship together. In the relationship, very often seems so much scarier to move forward and make things better because the current situation became so comfortable. Not pleasant, but comfortable. The comfort zone is what I'm talking about. But this year has been nothing but absolutely amazing. It shows us how beautiful and magnificent we are the second we decide to look within. So thank you all for being beautiful and amazing. Please share this video on your platforms. Let's keep on spreading awareness, love and light, compassion and space one for another. And you feel if you feel like your heart is calling for a healing session with myself, I'm going to leave the link elisamozal.com and feel free to send me a private message. Mm, all the best.